Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the transformer test. This is OCAC test part 1. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem. First we will see the problem 1. In the no load test of a single phase transformer, the following data were obtained. The primary voltage is 220 voltage, secondary voltage is 110 voltage. Primary current is 0.5 ampere, primary power input is 30 watts. This is for no load test. These data are belongs to the no load test. Find the turns ratio. First one is turns ratio. Second one magnetizing component of no load current. Third one working component. Fourth one iron loss. The resistance of the primary winding is 0.6 ohm. So first we will analyze the given data. So the V1 is given 220 voltage. Primary voltage is 220 voltage. Secondary voltage is 110 voltage. No load current. Under no load condition current taken by the primary is 0.5 ampere. Power input to the primary winding under no load condition is 30 watts. So from this data we can easily calculate the turns ratio N1 divided by N2 or V1 divided by V2 that is 220 divided by 110 voltage V1 divided by V2 that is 2 the turns ratio is 2. Then the power input is given no load power input is given in the problem. So the W0 is nothing but V1 I0 cos pi0. So from that cos pi naught can be written as W naught divided by V1 I naught. Right? By rearranging this equation, we can write. This W naught value is given as 30, V1 is 220 voltage, I naught is 0.5 ampere. So by simplifying this, we got 0 0.2727 cos pi naught equal to 0 0.2727. So that pi naught equal to cos inverse. 0.2727 that is nothing but 74.17 degree. So the pi naught that is the angle at the no load current and voltage the angle between current and voltage under the no load condition that angle is 74.17 degree. Now we need to find the magnetizing component and working component. We note that I w equal to I naught cos pi naught. This I naught value is available 0.5 ampere cos into pi naught. Pi naught is we calculated now that is this cos pi naught is directly we can substitute 0.2727 that is equal to 0.1363 ampere. So the working component is I naught cos pi naught that value is 0.1363 ampere. Then the magnetizing component is I naught sin pi naught this cos pi naught here here sin pi naught. So I naught is 0.5 into sine of pi naught. Pi naught value is 74.17. So sine 74.17. So by simplifying this we got 0 0.4810 amperes. The magnetizing current is calculated. Now we need to calculate the ion loss. The final question is ion loss. So the input is nothing but ion loss plus copper loss. The input what is given that is converted into iron loss and copper loss. So from that iron loss equal to input minus copper loss right because we need a iron loss value. So from input we can subtract the copper loss we can get the iron loss. What is the input given 30 watts already given as no load input is 30 watts. How will you find the copper loss I naught square into R. I naught square already given 0.5 ampere and R value is also given resistance of the primary winding. So by simplifying this we got 29.85 watts. The ion loss is 25.85 watts. So now we calculated TANS ratio, magnetizing component, working component and ion loss. Now we will go to the second problem. The primary and secondary windings of a 30 kVA 6000 bar 230 volt single phase transformer have resistance of 10 ohm and 0 0.016 ohm respectively. 
the res the reactance of transformer referred to the primary is 34 ohm calculate the primary voltage required to circulate the full load current when the secondary is short circuited what is the power factor of short circuit so this problem coming under short circuit test right the voltage is given kva rating is given resistance and reactance are given now we'll analyze the what are the data given in the problem the kva is 30 kva the kva given as 30 kva primary voltage is 6000 6000 voltage secondary voltage is 230 voltage then r1 and r2 the resistance of primary and secondary winding r1 is 10 ohm r2 is 0 0.016 ohm and the reactance is given reactance referred to the primary winding so, so that's the total reactance x01 is 34 ohm secondary reactance also transferred to primary so the reactance referred to primary means the total reactance 34 ohm so from this we can easily find the tans ratio k equal to v2 divided by v1 v2 is 230 v1 is 6000 so by simplifying we got 0 0.0383 that the transformation ratio is referred to this transformer is 0 0.0383 now we can find the equivalent resistance referred to the primary so our final aim is to find the power factor power factor of the short circuit so r01 equal to r1 plus r2 dash r2 dash mean the secondary resistor is transferred to the primary r2 r2 is the secondary resistant while while transferring into the primary it become r2 dash so r1 plus r2 is the total resistant in the primary referring the primary winding is transferred to primary winding so the r1 plus r2 dash can be written as r2 divided by k square so r1 is 10 ohm r2 is 0 0.016 divided by k value the transformation ratio we calculated 0 0.0383 so by simplifying we got 20.907 ohm so this is the total resistance of the transformer referring to primary all the values are transferred to the primary so that value is 20.907 ohm now we'll find the impedance impedance of the impedance referred to the primary z01 equal to square root of r01 square plus x01 square the general formula impedance equal to the sum of the resistance and reactance so the r01 we calculated 20.907 x01 is given in the problem itself 34 so by simplifying this we got 39.99 that is nearly 40 ohm reactance of the transformer referring to the primary is 39.99 or it is equal to or nearly equal to 40 ohm now we can calculate the current from the kva rating and voltage so i1 equal to kva divided by v1 right so the kva is nothing but v into i so that by subtract by dividing v1 we'll get the i1 value so kva is given as 30 kva 30 into 10 to the power 3 divided by primary voltage is 6000 so by simplifying we got 5 ampere current flowing in the primary winding is 5 ampere from that we can find the vsc short circuit voltage in the secondary side it is isc into z01 so this i1 is nothing but the short circuit current both are same the i1 is equal to isc also so 5 into 40 that is means this 40 is available so it is 200 voltage short circuit voltage is 200 voltage now we can find the power factor power factor one general formula available r01 divided by z01 r01 we calculated 20.9 divided by z01 39.99 so by simplifying we got 0.522 this power factor is 0.522 value right so in this problem we calculated the first we calculated the tans ratio then equivalent resistance refer to the primary then equivalent impedance refers to the primary then current short circuit voltage finally we calculated the power factor under the short circuit condition 
subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box thank you for listening